Good morning, my name is Bob, the owner of this uh, collection of bikes. So before I show you the uh, Boltaco Matisse, I show you some of the other bikes that I collect that eventually end up up in a trailer. Got a really cool uh, 2008 CR500 AF. Don't see very many of those. And before I show you this bike, I do love collecting uh, sport bikes as well. They're uh, one of my favorite types of uh, street bikes. But I do have more of a bull taco room here. Got a beautiful Matador. And yes, I do have another Model 11. And the room wouldn't be complete without a Husqvarna. So, on to the Boltaco Matisse, as some called it, a petite Matisse. Boltaco and the Rickman brothers had a rather stormy relationship over this bike. This particular M11, as it is called, was built in Spain. Uh, Rickman brothers uh, attempted to bring bikes into the United States illegally, uh, at least uh, to Mr. Bolto's opinion. So uh, Mr. Bolto decided that he was going to do his own deal. And uh, so this frame is not your Rickman frame, which would have been nickel plated, chromoly, and brazed. Uh, this is steel and welded. Uh, they used, uh, Boltaco made their own fiberglass components in Spain. So this bike was manufactured in Spain. Uh, I would say this is an absolutely beautiful restoration of this bike. One of the things that, if anyone knows these bikes, the original ones came with a steel rim. This one has uh, an aluminum rim that matches the front. Sometime during the restoration process uh, that was brought into, I happen to like the look of it better, but it's not original to the bike. Some of the other models came with a radial head and they were painted green. Uh, most of those were, I believe, the illegal ones. Well, at least in Mr. Bolto's opinion. This bike also was called a Persang, even though it's not technically a Persang, because the Persang was built after this by Mr. Bolto. Uh, and this particular bike, though it has the same motor, the, you can see the exhaust comes out the center while the actual Persang's later models came out the side of the, the barrel instead of out the center because he changed the frame, frame configuration. These were probably some of the best handling bikes that ever came out during that time period and therein lied uh, uh, Boltaco's rise to fame. Uh, the Rickman brothers certainly built a lot of dirt bikes uh, and street bikes as well. Uh, they were most noted probably for their dirt bike configurations. So I will do a start run video as well, but this is a 1966 Model 11 Boltaco Matisse. Good luck on your bidding.